What's up beautiful people, this is Mike from Mike Gadgets Well, and in today's video we're going to be looking at the different picture mode settings on the Sony A90J to see where we can get the maximum brightness and how we can get there. Alright, before we get into that, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video if you're really enjoying the content. Okay, so we're in the picture mode settings and we have HDR tone mapping off and then we have peak luminance is high because that's what we are trying to see. But we want to see what is the impact of having HDR tone mapping on off versus gradation versus the brightness preferred. So we're in the game mode in HDR and we're going to run some tests using the iDisplay 1 Pro meter on the screen on the Sony A90J OLED TV. And we're going to start the measurements and see what do we get out of the different you know type of settings so it's running some patterns on the screen and getting the measurements we are hitting 137 nits in the game mode when um, the dynamic tone mapping or the HDR tone mapping is turned off so now we're gonna do this again with the gradation mode and then we're gonna test it with the brightness preferred mode so we're gonna go to the picture settings and go down to the brightness and we're gonna go down to the HDR tone mapping and change it from off to gradation. And you see that big jump right there from 137 to 222 nits. So you gain a lot by just, you know, going there. But then look at the brightness preferred. You get 380, almost 400 nits out of your screen. And also think about this as a static image, right? So Sony is trying to limit the brightness as well, but you see the difference from off to gradation and to the brightness preferred. So if you're trying to hit the peak brightness that you want out of your Sony A90J, make sure to go to the picture settings and change the HDR tone mapping to the brightness preferred. Now I'm gonna show you different modes. Um, mostly if you want the peak brightness out of TV, it's gonna be in the vivid and let's see what we get. It, hit it, it hits about 1100 nits there and then nose dive to like 800 nits because Sony detects this static image as uh, as the vulnerability for the TV because you know it can cause burning. So it goes like where it hits 1200 nits almost, right? But then nose dives down to 700, 760 nits because it is static image. And Sony is doing that logo luminance adjustments on your TV. So, but still, it's incredible. If you want the maximum, you get it in the vivid mode. But I mean. Nobody's using vivid mode, right? Your input lag is going to be higher. Your picture is going to be a lot bluish. So some people tend to play with the vivid mode, change it to warm, and you know you can adjust settings to your taste. But I mean, I would rather stay away from vivid and enjoy my gaming in the game mode where I'm getting uh, 400 plus nits. You know, that's uh, that's enough, and that's on the static image. So real life practical practical application will be a little different than this you will get either more or less depending on what type of content you're displaying. But I'm just showing you the differences. What do you get when the gradation, brightness preferred, or just completely turn it off? So guys, that's all I have from today's video. Make sure to do that on your A90J and let me know in the comment section what do you think about it. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's helping me a lot and helped me a lot to keep making this type of content. So I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, peace out and thank you so much.